I changed my format. I like this a lot better, and it's what I'm going to be doing from now on. So, in tradition, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm actually going to be doing something I have wanted to do since I started the video, but I needed to shake some rust off, and that is to show you how to actually make video game food. And today we're going to be making something rather simple, and that is the mushroom risotto from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we have all our ingredients that we need right here, and that is butter, short grain arborio rice, mushrooms, parsley, garlic, onion, salt, about a half cup of shredded parmesan, chicken broth, and white wine, because risotto is an Italian dish, and, well, if you're not cooking with wine, then it's just simply not Italian. So let's go ahead and get things started. Go me, high five on the intro. All right, let's go ahead and cut up the onion, cut off the top. Split in half, set half to the side, we only need one half of this, and struggle with the outer casing. There we are. Alright, now I'm just going to slice, give this a good little slice. All right, give it a good smack. <laughs> Probably not that hard, but hey, I've been going through some stuff recently. Don't judge me. While I'm dealing with this, let me tell you a story. Uh, Legend of Zelda has always been one of my favorite video game series for as long as I can remember playing. Uh, I was like four or five whenever me and my brother were playing uh, a Link to the past for the Super Nintendo, and we absolutely loved it. At the time, when Ocarina of Time was coming out, I remember me and my brother sitting around the TV whenever the first commercial came on, and we were both incredibly excited over the fact that, you know, you could actually hear Link talking, or yelling, I guess you could call it. And give this a nice little mince, it doesn't really matter the consistency of it all. <laughs> Just make sure it's really small. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you can, there was, like, legitimate voice acting that went into it that wasn't, you know, 16-bit. And since we were children and stupid and didn't know words, we said that it was about time that Link had a crappy voice. This is about what you want. Either way, let's get the mushroom, and we're just going to slice these up mm, pretty thin. And this is around the thickness that you want for it, if I can get it a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Alright, let's get this all cooked up. Alright, for this, this is just the chicken broth going on over here. And we're just going to slightly heat it up. I just wanted to show you that I'm doing. I didn't forget about it, and it's just a different step. Now we have two, two and a half tablespoons of unsalted goat butter. And we're just going to go ahead and start browning our rice. Now something like Arborio is a very starchy rice. And through most dishes, you would want to wash it a little bit. Or a lot of it. So that way it doesn't end up messing with the consistency of the meal. However, with risotto, we want that starchiness because it gives it a nice creamy texture to it. All right, we're gonna uh, have this at around medium, medium high heat. And we're gonna do this for about five minutes before we add our vegetables. So we've got a little bit of color on our rice now and you can see that it's starting to release the starch. And it's at this time we wanna add our vegetables. We're gonna get these to be a nice aromatic. Our vegetables are starting to smell nice and pretty. Our mushrooms have absorbed quite a bit of that butter. And we're going to reduce the heat and add the wine. A little bit more. I'd say all in all, in the end of it, you want to add about a half a cup. Boil that completely off. And from here, we're going to add one ladle 
one four ounce ladle of, at a time of our chicken broth. And we're gonna keep on doing this until everything is nice and tender. Uh, what I really love about doing this while I got you here before I just cut away is uh, one of the great things about working with mushrooms is the fact that they are absolute flavor sponges. No matter what you put into it, the mushroom is just going to absorb everything in there and just make it a really powerful punch in your dish. All right. Well, I'm going to keep this up, and I will see you in about a half hour. We're in the last stretch here on our risotto. As you can see, it's fluffed up really nice. <laughs> and we're... Uh, but we still need about, I'd say, one more round of chicken broth. And this is the point where we add our salt. Uh, you're only going to want to add about a tablespoon. Trust me, whenever you do your taste test, if you think it's, you want to add more salt, just wait until after you add the Parmesan, because trust me, that is going to, you know, boost that quite a bit. You're just going to add it a little bit at a time. Awesome. I'll see you guys over at the bar for plating. Okay, we got it plated up nice and pretty, but we still got a lot of negative space and we still need the garnish. Our empty space we're just gonna fill with a little bit of chopped parsley. There's a funny thing about, you know, parsley in the kitchen world. It's the fact that if you add some green to a plate, you're automatically putting it up a few dollars. A little bit of the sprig on top and because I want to catfish people with the thumbnail a shiitake mushroom for presentation set it all together and voila Oop. mushroom risotto from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now what makes this specifically from Legend of Zelda well I said so so why not, let's go ahead and give it a taste, see how it is. Mm. Oh my god. The mushrooms have absorbed everything, the onions are nice and tender, and the rice is so fluffy. <laughs> I'm not sharing. Mm. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy this new format. I'm going to be sticking with it for quite some time. For at least as long as I'm doing YouTube. And, uh, well, I gotta work on my outros. <laughs> Thank you again. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.